In Creo Parametric 11, the project command can now project the points from a sketch onto surfaces. And this might not sound like the biggest enhancement in the world, but if you've ever needed to do this, you will understand what a difference it makes. To explain this enhancement, let me start out in Creo Parametric 10.0. Here I have a relatively simple part model. I have a bunch of points from a sketch that I need to get onto some of those surfaces. So let's go to the project command and I want to change the option to sketch. And so I will select the sketch that contains the points that I want to use. Then for the surfaces, I will use the control key to select a bunch of curved surfaces. And then for the direction reference, I'll use the right mouse button to activate my direction reference collector. Let me turn on my datum plane visibility for a moment. I will use this plane and I will flip the direction of projection. Now let's hit the check mark and I get an error. Feature failed to regenerate. What it means is that you cannot project the points from a sketch onto surfaces with the project command. Even if this sketch had curves in it, well, the points just simply would not project. All right, so let me cancel out of here and now let's hop over to Creo Parametric 11 to see how this is done now. Here I am in Creo 11 in a bit more complicated model. This part was created by using a shrink wrap of bodies from an assembly. You can see a bunch of different points. I need to get these points onto the back of this part onto a bunch of different surfaces. So let's go to the project command and I will change the option to sketch. For the sketch, I will pick the sketch that I want to use out of the model tree. For the surfaces, I'll take advantage of another enhancement in Creo Parametric 11. Let me go to my back view and I will use the box select functionality. Let me just swipe a box over a bunch of different surfaces over here. It is computing. And based on the option that I had selected, it only got the visible surfaces, which is what I want. Oh, it looks like I missed a few. That's okay. I can just use the control key to make sure that I get everything that I need. Now for my direction reference, this time I'll click in the collector to activate it. Let me turn on my datum plane display. I've got two different planes visible. I just want to show you that which plane that you choose ends up having an effect. Let's say I use the datum plane called front. Let's hit the check mark. And so now you can see the different points that were projected onto the surface. Let me switch back over to the back view and then zoom in so you can see where those different points ended up. Let's go to our project feature, edit definition, and I will click in the datum reference collector. Let me change to this other datum plane. And then you can even see in the preview how the location of the points will update. Let me hit the check mark. And there we have it. All those different points are now projected onto those different curved surfaces. Let's take a look at one more example. In this case, we will do it for an assembly. Oh, wow. Hold on a second. Let me turn off my datum plane display. And so I've got a bunch of points and maybe they're going to be used to define some holes that need to line up with a, another different part. So let's go to the editing overflow menu. I will click on the project command. Once again, I will change the option to sketch for the sketch that I want to use. I'll grab this sketch out of the model tree for the surfaces. I'll pick this one surface directly off of the screen. And for my direction reference, well, let me turn on the clutter again with the datum planes and find the datum plane that I want to use. And in this case here, I can switch the direction if I want to, but it would still work without switching the direction. Let me unclutter the screen by turning off the datum plane display. And so you can see, oops, accidentally hit the middle mouse button. You can see the points that ended up getting projected. Let me edit definition to bring back the dashboard. 
I want to point out that we have this additional option, project points, like we had before when we were projecting the points from the sketch in the previous model. We also have an option here in sheet metal for follow surface. That means that if I ever unbend this part or create a flat pattern, well, the different points are going to move along with it. Let me hit the check mark in order to complete the feature. And let me hide that sketch with the original points. And let's take a look at flattening this. Let's go to the flat pattern command. Now we have the flat pattern manager like I showed in another video. Let me right click on this body and change the flat pattern state to flat. And you can see that the points moved along with the surface. That's what that follow surface command does. So there you have it. That's how you use the new project points option in the project command in Creo 11.